Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Hello civil engineers and welcome to civil 53. In the previous lecture, we have learned how to create layers. We also added to our template setting. In this lecture, we will learn how to set up our own dimension style. We will also add this setting to our template. So let's get started. Dimensioning the plan correctly is really important. The site engineer is entirely dependent on the dimension given in the sheet. One small dimensioning mistake can lead to wrong construction, so it is a good practice to check the dimensioning twice before submitting the sheet to the client. In architectural plans, dimensioning is done in two steps. In the first step, the outer dimensions of the plot and walls dimension. In the second step, the inner room names and dimensions are denoted with the help of text tool. Enough talking, and let's see how can we form our own dimension style. Let's select our template, left click, my architectural unit system fit to select left click, first we will draw a line to end common press escape, so this is our line. Now we will put dimension on this line. Go to Home tab, Layers panel, click on this small arrow. We will select Dimension Layer to select left click. Now to activate Dimension command, go to Home tab, Annotation panel, and this is our Dimension command to select left click. For now we will press Escape to end command. The shortcut for Dimension command is DIM, type DIM, enter or space. Now select start point, so let's, this is our start point, left click, select end point, this is our end point, left click. Now move the cursor a little bit up and then left click. Dimension command is still on, to end command press skip. At the start and end there is a rose and in the middle it's showing us the length of the line which is 5 to 7. 0.5 and this is means it is not displaying the length in fit scale so to change the entire look of the dimension style go to annotated tab left click in dimension panel click on this small arrow left click manage dimension style left click we want to create our own dimension style so click on new give it a name fit rp Start with the standard, click on continue. First we will start with lines tab, left click, we will give it a color, left click, select color. So let's select this one, gray 253, click OK. In extension line, the same thing, we will give it a color, select color, 253, gray color, OK. Now go to symbol and arrows tab. We will change the arrow size to, we will make it two inches. Now go to text tab, left click. We will change the color of text. So select left click, select color. We will select this one, 140. Click on okay. We will change the text height to six inches. Now let's go to primary units tab, left click. This is the most important tab. The unit we will select here will reflect in the dimensions. As we can see for now it is 33.865. So if we go for line dimension and on unit format, we will change from decimal to architectural. And we will make precision to one by eight of an inch, which is one suit. So as we can see, it has changed. Leave the rest of the thing as it is, click on OK. Select Fit RB, click on Close. So now select this dimension line to select left click. And here we can see it is standard now. Click on this small arrow. 
and select fit. Now it becomes visible. Press escape. Our rows and length is visible. So we have created our own dimension style. Now we will save it to our template. Go to application menu. Left click. Save as. Drawing template. And let's select our template, which is my architectural unit system fit. Left click. Save. Yes. Okay. So we have add our own dimension style to our template setting so that we will not have to, to do it again and again every time when we start a new project. Now let's see the difference between the dimension style which we just created and the standard one. So go to home tab, select line. We will change the layer to default layer and then we will draw our line. Press escape to end common. Again, we will draw another line. Also press escape to end command. Now go to annotated tab. Here we can see it is fit RB. Left click. First we will start with standard. Select standard. And then click on dimension. Select first point. Left click. Select second point. Left click. Move a little bit up. And then left click press escape to end command now we will select the one which we just created left click this is our dimension style fit rp left click click on dimension first point and second point press escape to end command and here it is we can see the difference between both here we can see it is in fit scale and here it is not showing in fit scale So guys, this is all about dimension style. I sincerely hope that you enjoyed this video. So if you did enjoy, please like the video or leave a comment below. In the next lecture, we will form our own text style. See you next lecture, inshallah.